when you're ready. The investigators question is, should animals be used for testing? We'd be going through this topic through the ethical and scientific lenses. I believe that animals should not be used for testing. Going through this in the ethical lens, data shows that we use over 100 million animals a year for testing due to the potential benefits it could have on us as humans. Performing these harmful actions on live creatures who do not have consent is wrong. These trials result in them being burned, poisoned, abused, hurt, while they are practically held hostage and purposely harmed, again, for the hope that it will benefit us and have positive outcomes. Two common but harmful tests are the Draves test and the LZ50 test. The Draves test, which is shown here, is known for dropping chemicals in the animal eyes, which often results in blindness and death. Then the LZ50 test, which is shown here, although there were not many pictures showing the actual performance of the test, it's experienced in vomiting, paralysis, internal bleeding, and diarrhea, while substances are being pumped into the animal's stomach until they die. Both of these tests are two great examples that show the unethicalness of these practices. animals differ in many ways, researchers cannot 100% guarantee what a human reaction will look like. This has already backfired on certain occasions. For example, the Diax drug, which is shown here, was, was used to treat arthritis. It was tested on animals and was stated successful, but then went on to be the reason for 460,000 deaths from heart attacks to strokes. The hepatitis B drug, which is shown here, was tested on animals and proven effective, and then went on causing liver damage in seven, killing five. Without guaranteed success, as shown in these examples, some test results in hurting both humans and animals, which is a double negative. Now, looking at this through the science lens, Here, I again gathered that success is not 100% guaranteed and proven unreliable with a fail percentage of 95%. How can researchers possibly say that research is effective when it is not even consistent? Although it has been effective on such occasions, as were researchers at UCLA used mice in clinical trials, this led to the first cancer-fighting drug, which was used to successfully attack specific genetic abnormalities, or when mice were also used to model other human cancers like prostate, lung, pancreatic cancer for testing. And many other important medical research breakthroughs would not have been accomplished without the availability of these practices. But as now technology is more advanced in our world, there are other ways to go about these tests. Other ways researchers can use the advances of our world is the use of human cells, computer modeling, and robots. These options are better because they are more accurate and efficient. Since there are other options that exist, scientists should be using those alternatives. Overall, animal testing is cool. Scientifically, it causes harm and there are other options for us to take advantage of. Ethically, it causes unnecessary deaths, human harm, and unjust, unjust torture. Overall, there are other ways of researching which should be used. Animal testing should be put to an end. Okay, thank you. Uh, a couple of questions. Um, how valid and reliable are the sources you used? How do you know? And which sources didn't work? The sources that I used I know were valid and reliable because most had a date that was ranged within the last seven years, so I figured that was pretty valid. Um, I based them off, I used them based off how they related to animal testing by either if they had evidence of why it's not right or if they had evidence of why it was scientifically helpful or effective or ineffective. Um, some sources I didn't use just didn't have an author and their date was 
early 2000s, and I just figured that could not be reliable. Okay, thank you. Um, what additional questions emerged from your research, and why are those questions important? Questions that emerged from my research was when I found out that 95% of the tests were unsuccessful, and I figured, why are we putting not only animals through harm and torture, but also human lives at danger just for the potential benefit of a better outcome for our society? Okay, thank you.